During the Commonwealth Games, many of the African teams struggled to deal with the Western culture they found in Melbourne. In particular, the team from Lesotho found it hard to compete without their high-protein diet of bull's testicles. So Moses Ndatu, the team official, rang Peter from Peter's Meats to see if he could help out. Yes, Hello. Hello. Is this a butcher shop? Yes. Yes, my name is Moses Unditi. I'm for the mission of the Commonwealth Games team of Lesotho. Eh? And I have uh, an inquiry about uh, some catering matters. Yes. Right. Do you have a bull's testicles? No. Are you able to get them in? No. Sorry, I'm just uh, trying to track down some for my athletes. All right. Oh, but if I put an order in, could you, you get... You can't them? get them. But can't you get them in by the week? No. But we can't get them in. But I won't you... let them out of the rest of the abattoirs. Yes, but if you call and say it is for the Commonwealth Games... It doesn't matter who it's for. Well, I won't let them out of the abattoirs. But if this is special dispensation... <laughs> uh, call again. All Gotta right. keep calling. Uh, Peter's mates. Yes, good morning. I was just speaking to a gentleman uh, regarding a catering request. Yes. Uh, my name is Moses Nditi. I'm calling from the team of Lesotho at the Games Village. Yes. And I'm merely making uh, inquiries as to the supply of bull's testicles. <laughs> the only way to get bull testicles <laughs> yes. is to go out, find a bull, kill it, and take off its testicles. <laughs> well, I, we can't get them. I can't do that. You can't. Well, neither can I. Well, you're a butcher. <laughs> Sorry? You're a butcher. Yeah, I'm a shop butcher, not a slaughterer. Oh, what no. if I put the order through for you? We can't get them. Simple as that. But is this not for the Commonwealth Games <laughs> a, a important request? It doesn't matter. I don't care if it was for the Queen. I need this for my team for the 5,000 litres. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't perform. Well, it is a recipe that we give for protein. Look, I haven't, I haven't got time for this, all right? Because now you're starting to bust my chops. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I'm telling you, I can't get them. Simple as that. But okay? I... I told you, the only way to do it is to find a bull and cut off its testicles. You're not helping. We were told that Australia would... Hello? All right. Is this the way to treat our guests? No, love. No. Call him again. Right. Bird is mate. Uh, do you stock bull's testicles? No, you've been ringing here for the last two hours. I, I, I'll tell you what, give me your phone number. I don't have a phone here in the village. I'm calling on the phone at the front desk. Well, you ring me back in about 20 minutes. Okay. All right. Can I ask you, we're looking for about five kilos. About five kilos? Yes. You ring me in 20 minutes. Okay, I will call you then. Okay. Thank you. Okay, bye. <laughs> it looks like we're on to something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's call back in 20 minutes. Peter's Yes, hello, is Peter there, please? He's busy at the moment. Well, tell him that this is an important matter. He's serving a customer. I am a customer of the highest order. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, try again. Peter's <laughs> Did you just hang up on me again? <laughs> Sorry? You just hung up on me again. No, it uh, wasn't me, it was the other bike. Well, how many of these blocks are there there? <laughs> Who? Every time I call, Peter has asked me to call him. When I call, you hang up on me. Who does? You do at your shop. Your impertinence is most surprising. Do you understand I am the chef de mission of the Commonwealth Games team of Lesotho? Of who? Lesotho. We are country in Africa. Don't be so rude. I'm not being rude. I just haven't seen you on television. I want to speak to your boss. Just relax, mate. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. You keep hanging up on me. All right, all right. All right, all right. Keep your shirt on. I'll get the boss for you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Sure That's not will. getting the boss. <laughs> no. All right. Roll it up again, yeah. Troy. Here we go. Right. Hello, is Peter there, please? Hang on a minute. Hello. Hello, is that Peter? Yeah, speaking. Peter, it's Moses and Dotty calling again. Yeah. I wanted you to be able to get something in for my team. What did you What did you want for your team? You tell me what you wanted. I wanted some bull's testicles, just a few. Okay, get. Yeah, f- 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 <laughs> we can't get them, all right? Hey, just calm down. <laughs> Why are you so aggressive at me? Listen, I f- told you we can't get them, all right? Can't get Simple what? Simple as that. Now, f- don't. F- Ring me, okay? Hey, just a minute. <laughs> this is how he's treating, you know, the head of the team of an African nation yeah, here for the hand. games. <laughs> we extend the hand of friendship. <laughs> Let's try him again. Oh, 
Chris. Yes, good morning. I would like to speak to that important man, Peter, please. Oh, now that's not right. Try, ring again. <laughs> I lost count of how many times. Is right. Yes, good morning. I didn't... Uh, no. <laughs> now, the important thing you've got to understand here, right, is that Troy and I have realised very, very quickly mm. that they're not going to... As soon as they hear an African yeah. voice, that's it, phone down, right? Yeah. So we need a different tactic. <laughs> So a different in. I've rung up with someone else now to oh get no. through to the boss, okay? And then I have to very quickly switch voices. So try this. Hi, this mate. Yeah, g'day, mate. How are you? Good. Uh, look, I, I uh, down at the Flemington uh, Junior Footy Club, mm -hmm. just wanted to speak to someone about uh, maybe getting some sponsorship for some sausages for our young fellas. Um, just hang in a sec. I'll put you under the boss. Okay, oh, thanks, no. mate. Hi. Mr. Peter. <laughs> Yeah, I told you. Listen, if I find out where you are, I'm going to come there, rip your testicles off and feed them to the athletes. Hey, Mr. <laughs> Fair enough. He's got it. <laughs> I just love the fact that the bloke said, oh, there's some bloke who wants a footy club sausage or whatever. <laughs> and then, oh. <laughs> so we obviously, we've done his head in by now. We had to ring and fill him in. <laughs> Hello, Peter's mates. Uh, is that Peter? Speaking. Peter, my name's Matt Tilly, <laughs> but you might know me as Moses Ndotti. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you <laughs> <laughs> Been a long week, hasn't it? <laughs> it has. I'm, I'm busy. I'm <laughs> I've got a shop full of people here, mate. Now, listen, what you need to know is when I rang you the other day, it was off my own bat, right? All oh, right, OK. And then in the meantime, your little nephews rung up and said, oh... My uncle keeps getting called by this African guy. Why don't you ring up and pretend it's you? And I said, it is me. <laughs> <laughs>